people ask me, how far in advance should they start preparing their home for sale? You know, planning to sell a home and being prepared is so important. And having some good pre-planning in place can save you thousands. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for tuning in. I'm Keller with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty in Greenwood, South Carolina. And today I'm going to share the preparing a house for sale checklist. So stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to provide you with a detailed checklist of how to sell your home fast and for top dollar. First, you need to decide, is this a good time to sell my home? You know, in the summer, there's more inventory than there is in the winter. Um, is school going to be a factor to you when moving? People are buying home, you know, homes year round now. So you decide this based on your own personal situation and your own personal timing. Secondly, pricing is a very important thing. You want to price realistically, not optimistically. When you set your price, you make buyers aware of the absolute maximum that they're going to have to pay for your home. As a seller, you will want to get a selling price as close to the list price as possible. If you start out by pricing too high, you run the risk of not being taken seriously by buyers and their agents and pricing too low can result in selling for much less than you were hoping for okay thirdly consider your curb appeal the first thing prospective buyers see on your home is the curb appeal yes for better or worse buyers do judge a book by its cover so by investing some effort in the exterior like does it need painting, sprucing up the flower beds, uh, or, or the grass? They're all beneficial. You want to make sure you hire a great real estate agent that knows what to do and what not to do to prepare your house for sale. Fourthly, you want to check out your garage. We don't take pictures of garages in, uh, most of the time, but you want to make sure that they can see the space in the garage and you know that they're and that they know their stuff will fit in there and their cars. A lot of times what happens is the garage becomes a dumping ground for stuff that you don't want or that uh, you, other people don't want. And if it's too crowded, people can't see the space. OK, for for the interior, you want to declutter and neutralize the house, including your closets. Get everything off the floor into your closets. Get them in those clear boxes. Put your shoes up. Uh, the, look, the closets look much bigger that way. We offer virtual staging, and that's one thing our sellers really like because they really don't know what their home looks like to potential buyers. So we have that as an option for our sellers. We also, the pictures that we take are done by professionals not from an iPhone. And then of course, marketing is hugely important. You want to get the most exposure for your home and that's what's really important to get top dollar. And you want to hire a great real estate agent that can do that. We actually have hundreds of things that we do once we list your home for sale because we want to make sure that you get the most exposure possible for your home. So as promised, I'm offering you a free report, getting your house ready for sale. That gives you a lot more details about what we just talked about. Just reach out to me through the information provided below or give me a call at 864-766-SOLD or go to kellerhasthebuyers.com. If you like what I shared with you today, please hit the thumbs up button or comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.